choosing to get rest and save their energy for tonight. Herrera with a chance for an RBI, swings and grounds one third base side, off the foot of Luke White, and it careams into left field. That's going to let Piazza score, and the Pier Trappers have a 4-3 edge as they've nullified two Fremont leads in this contest. One and two, Alex Gonzalez waits on deck. Here's the pitch. A swing and a belt in the left. That's a base hit. Scoring is Bullofin. Getting the waves, Herrera. The throw is in time. They got him. Heading for second and not being tagged is Moreland as Phelps gets to third. Deuces wild. Morris kicks and fires. Swung on and driven deep to right center. This could be trouble. Back at the wall. This is gone. We're tied at 10. It seemed like these two teams were playing nearly every other day in 2018, but only seven matchups to speak of in 2019. 2-2, two -two. swung on and missed. That time McDonald went to the off speed in full Glasgow on the outside edge. Berman last night had a great evening. He was two for four with a double and a home run, including two runs scored. Releasing the 0-1's Brewer, a swing and a ball driven deep out to right field. On his horse is Grossman. He watches it fly out of the park. It's a one-out bomb from Michael Furman. Four men in the outfield for the Pier Trappers as Wesley skyhooks the first pitch into right field. And guess who's going to make that catch? No, he won't. Billy Moreland dropped it in right center. Wesley's going to head for third base. Herrera makes the throw to third. It is not in time. It gets past Phelps. Wesley's going to try to score. Phelps got Wesley in a rundown, heading for home. The throw is now to Gonzalez, and Wesley's in a rundown at third base. Gonzalez throws it back, and Phelps tags Wesley at third. Holy moly, what a play that was. Kale Parks looking for the 0-2. Gets Gonzalez to ground one first base side. It gets under the glove, squibbing past Jock Simonson and into right field it rolls. Nick Grossman scores. We've got a one run ball game as the former trapper gets bitten by the dust from his former home ballpark. Here comes the 2 0. Swung on and ripped into center. That's a base hit. Modest is scampering to the plate. Throw in is not in time. Third hit of the night for Nico Piazza. This one plates a pair, and the Trappers have their first lead of the night at 8-6. Across the scoreboard, the pitch to Modesta swinging a ball hit again. Same spot. Is this going to be fair right field side? It is a fair ball. Around second, raising for thirds, Moreland. He'll be held at third base, taking a deep turn. No, Moreland's going to go for the plate. The throw, not in time. Moreland's safe. What a play as Max Modest gets into third, and the Trappers have a 10 spot in this game. And the Pier Trappers, for the fifth consecutive game, have scored 10-plus runs. Zane Phelps flew out to center field his first at bat. That was a smoke and line drive that almost evaded the glove of Trapagan. He swings at the first pitch and shellacks it deep right field. Goodbye! Double-digit dingers on the season for Zane Phelps as he rockets the first pitch out of Hyde Stadium. The Trappers have scored two more, and they lead it five to nothing. 0-2, Parker sets at the waist and offers the pitch. Called strike three on the outside corner, and Parkhurst has his second K of the night. Billy Moreland is the definition of a five-tool player. He's played seven of the nine positions. He's also pitched four games so far for the Trappers. Barrington relinquishes the 0-1. A swing and a ball line in the right. That's a blooper base hit in front of the second baseman, Wallstead. Knowles will pick it up. Phelps is going to try to score. He will. So coming soon. Dustin, I believe my bold prediction or lock of the week was that Casper would have a winning record. I believe They'll so. move to 14 and 14 if they win tonight. 1-1 one, one from Zach Philos. A swing and a liner. That's a base hit left field. First hit of 2019 for Ken Scott. Comes on a screamer to the left field side. What a way to start the frame for Pierre. Welcome back, Ken Scott. Makes a beautiful catch yesterday. Base it today. Yeah, some cushion here on the road for the Spearfish team. 1-2. A swing and a lacing line drive. Right center field. Base hit. That ball's into the gap. Around second heading for thirds. Gonzalez. Phelps is going to get into second as it's misplayed with the center field. The Rosencrantz. They're going to wave Gonzo around. He scores. 4-2. And on seconds, Phelps. As the rally birds come alive from Hyde. And high ahead, 0-2. Here comes the pitch. A swing and a high, deep drive, center field, way back, goodbye! Grand slam, Ted Ellison, and the Trappers have a 6-4 lead in the sixth. You gotta be kidding me! Billy Moreland looking for the save. 
Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and rips in the right field back on its Piazza. Got it! Trappers win the Beef Cup for the second year in a row. A wild, wacky, incredible comeback makes it two consecutive Beef Cup titles. And the Pier Trappers celebrate tonight. They've won the Beef Cup. They're ahead in the playoff standings. Let the world know South Dakota.